Hey guys, this is Jacoby. Today on What the Tech, we're going to take a look at the new Gen 2 Hydra, the installation on the F2000 with our new electronics. Using our electronics is going to make this much simpler. You're not going to do any soldering. Basically, you're going to get everything ready in the kit just to install it. Let's take a look how to install it. What the tech? Started. So let's take a look at what comes in the Hydra Gen 2 F2000 kit. We can go ahead and set the gearbox to the side. We're not going to need that right this second. You will get the Gen 2 Hydra for the F2000. We'll set this aside as well. You're also going to get the custom wiring harness with the switches already attached so you don't have to do any soldering. It will come with a solenoid pigtail that disconnects. And you also get a Ziploc bag with all of the hardware in the mounting bracket. So let's take a look at what comes inside of that. You will get your mounting block. You're also gonna get two larger silver Phillips head screws. These are for mounting the block to the actual gearbox. And you will also get four smaller black Phillips head screws. Those will be used for mounting your switches to the bracket. You will get four hex nuts and four washers. We can go ahead and set the washers to the side. We won't need those for the F2000. To get started, first we want to flip the bracket over. And you will see there's four recessed holes. These are for the hex nuts. They're just press fit, so you just line them up and then press them down in nice and secure. Just like that. Now I've already done the other two, so we can just set these nuts aside. <laughs> Got it! So you'll see that the nuts will go here, 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 and here. Now, of course, we want to insert these first before the bracket gets mounted to the gearbox. So next, what we want to do is we want to take the mounting screws and go ahead and put them in place. And the reason we want to put these in place is you'll need this one in first before you can mount your switch. Let me go ahead and get this one in its place. Okay. So now we can go ahead and install our switch. So to start, we're going to want to use the switch with the red wire. We're going to want to mount it right here with the arm facing up. So we can go ahead and take two screws, and put them in the switch, and then we will line them up with the holes, and we'll secure them in place. All right, so that switch is installed. Now the next thing we do before installing the next switch is we want to go ahead and mount it to the gearbox. So let's go ahead and grab that. We're going to mount it in these two screw locations right here. So we'll line those up and then we'll secure those down as well. Okay, so now we have the bracket installed on the gearbox. So we can go ahead and install our last switch. We want to install this switch in this location with the arm pointing towards the other arm. So we can go ahead and put our screws in the switch, line it up with our holes, and secure it in place. All right, so now we have installed the switches and the bracket to the F2000 gearbox. So the next step would be to go ahead and open your gearbox up and insert the engine inside. So we're going to take our pigtail solenoid lead off of the wire harness and we're going to insert it into the solenoid of the hydrogen tube. We will place the hydra in the correct position in the gearbox and then we're going to route the pigtail down towards the bottom. So now we can go ahead and close our gearbox just like so and snug it down as well. Now we have completely installed the Hydrogen 2 into the F2000 gearbox along with the electronics. So now we can plug in the solenoid and finally we can plug in the FCU and battery and test the switches. Simi? Full on.
The last thing to do now is just to install it back into the gun, just like any other normal install. Thanks for checking out the video and I hope this helped.